welcome to another 18 show, a program brought to you by Just the Fans and a company where we feature the core brands and value here at Just the Fans. My name is Miguel Labadi and I'm here with the beautiful Miss JL Joseph. JL. Hi Miguel, how are you? Good, good to be here. You ready for the show? I'm ready. What are you most excited about? The opportunity to interact with a, a long time friend. You want to know who that is? Well, I'm sure we're going to find out who that is. Of course, uh, we're going to be talking to Mr. Stephen Lander, who is uh, the Retail Banking Manager at First Caribbean International Bank. And he's here with us. We're going to be talking to him a little bit about who he is and what he does and why is he here on this show. Okay, pretty That's going to be interesting, right? Certainly, yes, Jill. Yes. We look forward to another exciting program as uh, Steve will get to share much about himself and, of course, as Jill mentioned, a few business tips. Mr. Lander, welcome. Thank you, Miguel. How are you? Good, man. Good to have you here. Pleasure to be here to speak with you. Excellent. Looking forward to a great program with Steve and, of course, all the other exciting things happening at Astafans. But first, Mr. Felix Henderson with What's in Store. Thank you very much, Miguel, and Jay, all the elves. But today I got a fun part. On this section, What's in Store with Felix, we focus on the power shake, the Dutch lady power shake. And just holding it in my hand, I feel so powerful. In fact, I had a drink a while ago, and I feel like Muhammad Ali. I can fly like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> on today's program, we're going to have competition, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have two sets, in fact two groups, and they're going to compete who is going to drink faster and the winner on each, in each group will get to the finals. We're going to have a winner, I promise you, it's going to be fun. Today it's all about power, the power shake from Astrofans, Dutch lady, we'll be right back. Hello there, welcome to another edition, Major Keys, right here on the A-Team Show. On today's episode, we got Mr. Mulligan Battle, a Kong's Payable Supervisor, right here at Astrofans. We're going to find out more about him. This segment brought to you by Sunshine Cereal. Mr. Bato, warm welcome to the program. It's the mistake. Yes. How do you do? Good, good, good. Good. And everything is fine? Everything good. Okay. Um, what do you do at Ah, uh, I do everything. Receivables, mm -hmm. payables, some part of inventory, general ledger, reports, etc. Mm -hmm. It works. Okay. Mostly to do with accounting. Yes, mostly to do with accounting. Okay, and your job basically is, in layman terms, you're responsible for payments? I'm responsible for ensuring that everything the company has to pay mm -hmm. has its really normal channel, is verified, authorized, mm -hmm. and good to go. Okay, how would you describe your job? Uh, it is challenging, mm -hmm. it is taxing, it involves longer words, but I, I like what I do. And I like that for quite a while. Okay. I have a vast experience in that and, mm -hmm. and I did well. Okay. And there's about 10 things though. Nice. So you've been at Asa fans how many years? I've been at Asa fans for mm -hmm. between 11 to 12 years. Mm -hmm. um, that is about the second job I've had, so very fortunate. Okay. Um, Asa fans is okay once you get to, to understand the, the ins and the out. Mm -hmm. yeah. And even after 12 years, you, you still look forward to coming to your job? Oh yes. Um, like I said, being in your job entails quite a few things. Motivation, mm -hmm. personal satisfaction, etc. Mm -hmm. Once you like what you do, you're determined to do your best, then everything else just falls into place. Okay. If I were to describe you, if you were to describe yourself, what would you how would you describe yourself? Mm -hmm. Mr. Battle. Who is Mr. Battle? Uh, everybody knows that I'm quiet. Mm -hmm. I tend to not speak a lot. Um, I can be, I won't say big jokes, but something to that effect, I guess I, I took that from my father's side. Okay. But all in all, in a nutshell, I, I'm kind of on the reserve side. Ah, okay. So what about you that makes you very strong at performing at your job? Ah, uh, it has to do with, like I say, it has to do with what you want to do in life. Mm -hmm. From the time I was young, I've always had a passion for accounting. Okay. Um, two things, is accounting and law. I like law. You love law? Yeah, but okay. the reading part, uh, I don't really like. Uh, like to read. I guess it's to do with men and, and reading. Okay. So my next bit was accounting and I... You love numbers? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
All right, keep it right here. We are talking to um, the payable supervisor, the accounts payable supervisor at Asta Fans, Mr. Morgan Bato. We'll be back right after this. Do you need to buy an item on a higher purchase plan? Not all higher purchase plans are created equally. Do your homework and you will find the plans out there offer higher interest rates, hidden costs, so you end up paying much more at the end of your term. As the fans, Flexi Plan has the lowest interest rate, flexible payment terms, no hidden cost, and no fancy language. Just simple, straightforward savings. Guaranteed. With Flexi Plan, we do the math for you. Helping you save money, that's our business. As the fans. Right place, right price. Terms and conditions apply. Welcome to Holland. Welcome to the country of the world's most famous cows. This is where your Dutch lady milk comes from. <laughs> Taste our nature at its best. Dutch lady, discover the goodness of milk from Holland. Welcome back. And as we promised you before the break, we're going to be talking to Mr. Stephen Lander. Of course, uh, this program is brought to you through Cole Cafe. And we're getting straight into it, Miguel. Steve is a very intriguing guy from what I found out. And, uh, he has an interesting background. One of the details is that um, he actually started off his career right here at the fan. Tell us a little bit about that, Stephen. Absolutely true. Started off at Asa Fans in 2006. Uh, very proud to say that actually when I came back from school, I, one of the things I did is dress up every day and walk to various business places and drop off my resume and hope to get a conversation with one of the managers there. And Asa Fans saw it fit to reward me with a, a job with the institution. So it was, it was my first job returning from, from school, uh, kicking off my what has become my formal career experience and mm -hmm. I'm very proud to look back and say that they were the ones that gave me my start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And from us to fans, what happened? Where did you go next? Because you moved on and, and could you tell us, share with us why you decided to move on? Yeah, well my training was in um, finance and economics, mm -hmm. uh, so always had a keen interest in banking. Mm -hmm. um, as it happens, uh, NBD was looking for uh, a manager for the accounting department at the time. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was a good um, segue into the banking industry for me. Mm -hmm. So it was a matter of a new opportunity opening up and an opportunity to grow for me as an individual. So it was a sad time to part from Asa fans, but a necessary action on my part. Mm -hmm. yeah. As part of your banking career, Steve, you also worked overseas. I did. I uh, left NBD after about five years and uh, went on to the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank. Um, the ECCB is almost like the holy grail uh, for Caribbean bank in the EC region, so uh, that was another natural opportunity for growth for me that I, that I took on. In a, in a slightly different capacity, I actually became a portfolio manager there, uh, manager portfolio of about $250 million US. Um, wow. So pretty big responsibility and that, that money really backs the value of the EC dollar. So no pressure there. If I fail, um, your EC wouldn't be worth much. <laughs> <laughs> but um, lucky for me, I was successful. I didn't let my people down. Well, um, before we get into you um, and what you, you do, you, you don't only do banking, because I remember when I first heard about you, I was following a, a popular group called Bushdown. So you're so, free, you can be laid back as well. Tell us a little bit about your your freelancing Bushdown, I should say. Uh, Bushdown was an interesting time in my life. I was a bit younger, mm -hmm. um, and there was a group of us that had some some pretty good talent, if I if I do say so myself. So, music was a passion. Um, we pursued that passion with with vigor, and we were able to produce about three albums that were very popular in Dominica. Um, Not just in Dominica. Yes, <laughs> we had we had some success. We actually traveled to Martinique. Mm -hmm. And music has been very popular in Guadeloupe as well. So we tap some foreign markets and of, of course Dominicans who reside abroad also bring the music to, to where they live. So uh, I mean you name it, Miami, New York, um, the group is known. It was a very interesting time, very fulfilling time for me. I don't think I would change that for anything. Would you, would you consider going back uh, to Well, Because I think you were pretty good at it. Yeah, I, I, I think I moved on and, and part of the reason for moving on at the time was growing up. Okay. Um, when you're a kid and your parents are taking care of you, it's all fine. 
to dabble in music that doesn't really make a lot of money, but as you grow into an adult and responsibilities uh, start to kick in, then you have to make a decision. So I, I made a decision along with a lot of the other guys. Mm -hmm. I moved on, I went to school, and came back, and, and this is what you see before you today. Uh, some of us stayed in the industry. I, I can mention Mystic, who's part of the A team, mm -hmm. was actually in Bushtown. And we have other guys like Craig Bella, who's done um, New Music Zone, mm -hmm. DJ Belly, and so on. DJ Belly uh, to be correct. So some of the guys actually stayed in and made it. We have a look in Canada now who does an entertainment ma magazine and does um, nightclub promotion and that sort of stuff. So some of the guys were able to make it in, uh, in the music industry. Uh, to make it in banking. <laughs> so right now you are the uh, current, very newly appointed manager um, of Retail Bank at that first time international bank. Right. Uh, how did you end up landing that position? Well, the, the business was looking for new leadership um, in 2015. Uh, the latter part of 2015, uh, a mutual friend of my, my direct boss informed me that they were looking for leadership. We, able to initiate uh, a conversation um, with the, between the bank and myself at the time to gauge the interest and the suitability of myself for the role. Mm -hmm. um, I had to go for the formal challenge and challenge for the position like everybody else. Mm -hmm. uh, lucky for me, I was uh, Did you a side test on you? Same a again. side test? I yes, I did. I, I heard it yeah, sometimes. I, I, this is actually, so you're not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, I, I don't know if I can formally submit that to the uh, psych ward in the past, but um, it's actually very common in business now. We want to know um, how people think and how they're likely to interact with their colleagues, how they're likely to treat with certain situations in the workplace. So psychometric analysis has actually become a commonplace thing mm -hmm. in, the, in the recruitment process. So I had to go through that and I guess I'm not, I'm not mad. Uh, I guess you're not. So we gotta take a break. When we come back, we're gonna keep on with the conversation right here with uh, Mr. Steve Lander, our guest on today's 18 show. Ladies and gentlemen, today we focus on the Dutch lady power shake. I'm just holding this power shake in my hand. I feel powerful. I feel like I have power. I feel like just shake. I feel like Mohammed. I feel like I beat this guy. I, I feel like I beat just a matter of time if I knock them out. But what we're gonna do competition today. We have two teams, this team and another team, and they're going to drink a power shake each, and the first to finish will end up in the final. So let's go. Are you ready to go? Yes. What's your name, please? Melvin Challenger. Ma and I, well, he's going to challenge you. Okay. And what's your name? Super and George. Oh, he thinks he's super too. Okay, so let's go. So here's your power shake. After the comes are free, take it away now. He's still drinking. He's still drinking. He's still drinking. Oh, left him on. This guy full of power now. Okay, so you're into the finals. Let's get our next team now. So this is the chocolate power shaker. And the first round we had the strawberry. Ready to go now? Ready to go. Okay, after the gong of three. One, two, three. Take it away now. Well, obviously he lost. <laughs> you won. You know you that before. But what surprises me? What surprises me is that there's so much in that little scene. Mm -hmm. You know, when you drink, you, you you finish. There's more. It's like get more when you pour. <laughs> and I, yes. No, no, you feel powerful, right? Feel you can shake and bake now. Shake and bake. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to the finals. Um, Heskiff and uh, Super, 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 Super and George. Come on, Supriana. Ladies and gentlemen, we're into the finals of our Dutch Lady Power Shed competition. And just holding that thing in my hand, I feel very powerful. We have our two finalists. What's your name again? Heskiff Winston. Heskiff Winston. I suppose you're going to win. Your name is Winston. And you are? Super and George. Oh, you think he's super? I think he's super. You think he's super? Think. Okay, let's see who's going to win. And after the count of three. One, two, three. Take it away now. <laughs> Who do you think is the winner? Hey! Ah! No! Oh, there's, there's more! 
Not in mine, not in mine. Not in mine, not in mine. Not in mine. Yeah. Not in mine. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, more. Uh, uh, yes, fill yeah, it. Yeah. Now, because it wasn't empty, you got to drink everything. You got to drink it all over again. Are you guys ready? Ready. You ready to rumble? Good to go. Good to go. Okay, let's go after the count of three. One, two, three. Take it away now. PJCA. <laughs> 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 you <laughs> No competition this time. <laughs> Absolutely. Good job, my coach. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the Dutch Lady Power Check Competition. Let's get it for him. Our today is all about power. The Power Shaker from Astor Fans, the Dutch Lady Power Shaker. You can buy a whole case and take it to your home, put it under your bed. You know, some like it hot, some like it cold, some like it in the pot, nine days old. And in this thing, there's dashing, there's gumbo, there's fish, there's vegetables, there's sauce, everything. Sauce for sustainable development. Everything to make you strong. You got to plan a garden, you got work to do, the pre-workout, this is the drink for you. Three different uh, flavors, vanilla, chocolate and strawberry. I tell you, this is the real deal. Power, 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 more power to man and less manpower. It's nice to be taken care of. It's nice to take care of your loved ones. There are many ways to do so. Always with your cold cafe. Cold cafe. Treat yourself. Welcome to Holland. Welcome to the country of the world's most famous farmers. This is where your Dutch lady milk comes from. <laughs> Taste our nature at its best. Dutch lady, discover the goodness of milk from Holland. Welcome back. This program is brought to you by Cole Cafe. We're here speaking with Mr. Stephen Lander of the First Caribbean International Bank in Dominica. Stephen, I'm sure you understand that young persons like ourselves are ambitious. They have ideas. They aspire to inspire. They want to get a business idea off the ground. And there are challenges in starting off uh, getting financing for the business and just managing the, the, the cash flow generally. Our young people are listening, they are looking at the program. What are some key tips you could share with young persons at this time? Would you be able to give us like five tips, you know, that Sure, need I, to I, know? I can give you 20 tips, we'll keep it to five. Okay, we'll give it to five. <laughs> um, not to sound cliche, but you need to have a plan. It's, it's one of the key things, the key challenges that I see is facing a lot of small business people. They don't take the time or probably don't have the capacity themselves to do the upfront analysis to, to put together a strong business plan. A key component of that business plan is your market, understanding your market. Who am I selling to? Okay? Is there a need for that uh, uh, product or service that I'm selling? What is the breadth of that market? Because if I don't understand how wide that market is, am I taking full put, uh, advantage of the potential that's out there? Who are the competitors in the market space? Okay, and again, who is who are my client base, right? Uh, that that can help you in so many ways, not just to know who to sell to, but to know who to market to. Picture paying um, uh, hundreds and thousands of dollars for advertising material, but you're speaking to the wrong audience. They're not the one consuming your product or service, right? That is wasted resources. So you need to understand fully the business that you're getting into, understand the market, put that plan together, and that also helps you to go to a financial institution and secure financing, all right? The other thing is picking the right structure. It's very easy to, to up one day and go and register a business name uh, in, in Dominica at the registry, right? Um, but is that the right structure for the business that you're getting into? And by structure, I mean, do you want to be a business, which is just an enterprise that is registered on a name? Or do you want to incorporate? Do you want to be a company? With the company, the, the, the business operation is a separate entity existing legally, separate and apart from its owner. And depending on how complex your, your operations get, you want that separation. 
it has different implications for tax. Okay. And if somebody wants to sue you, and if somebody wants to strike, right, the, the liability is to the, the the company and not the individual. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all of these cons considerations have to go into place when you're taking into account the business structure. Okay, record keeping, plan for that. Okay, if you're going to have a, a conversation with a financial institution, they're going to want to see your records. Okay, you're going to have to have you're going to have to substantiate everything that you claim with the record. So a good starting point, even if you can't afford an accountant, open a, a bank account, pass all of your income through the bank account, write checks to pay your expenses, get bills, get, re get receipts, so you have the information to show how your business is performing financially. Mm -hmm. That is going to be a critical component of that conversation. The other, the other critical question to ask yourself is, what do I bring to the table? Anybody can have an idea. Mm -hmm. But do I necessarily have the expertise to take that idea forward? And that's something that small business people face every day. Okay? I may be uh, someone who stumbled on an idea quite by accident. All right? I don't, I'm not an accountant, I don't have advertising expertise, I don't have management skills. How am I to take that idea forward? So as much as possible, tap the required expertise to move your business forward. Lean on other people, lean on organizations and all the available resources that are there for you to guide you and move you forward in that um, respect. At the same time, one has to be careful not to lose the, the intellectual property or creativity. You come with an idea and right. you go to someone you feel has the expertise who wants to move it forward and then they just snatch it away from you. That, that is true and there, there are provisions within the law um, to protect your intellectual property. And again, by speaking to the right people and getting the right advice, you can structure your situation in such a way that you protect yourself. Okay, a, a, a fifth critical question, I think nobody, uh, not, I shouldn't say nobody, but people sometimes fail to ask is, can this biz business survive without me? The idea of business continuity. Okay, what have I put in place for the survivability sorry, of this operation? If I fall sick, if I, God forbid, pass away, or I have to divert my attention to something else, okay? And that is that is actually very important if you are an entrepreneur or a serial entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. That way you can create, an, you can put an idea into um, fruition, create a business, okay? And when it's good enough to stand on its own, you move on to your next idea, okay? So not, and build not having any umbilical cords, in other words. Right, so you're not permanently tied to one activity, mm -hmm. okay? But you benefit from every activity that you engage in. And I think that is a very critical concept and something that anyone entering into a business should consider. Well, that was uh, a lot of food for thought. Uh, we're very grateful for you coming in and, and really sharing that with us. And hopefully young people out there who are listening or, or actually viewing this program can, can take a page or, or can take one of the tips that you provided and uh, take it forward and bring forth a, a meaningful business, a business. I like the, the last one, the, five tip, the fifth one. I'm going to take that and run with that. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You're watching the A-Team Show. This segment, of course, brought to you by Sunshine Cereal. Major keys with your boy, major mistake. And of course, uh, we're talking to Mr. Morgan Bato. He's the accounts payable supervisor right here at Ask the Fans. Right place, right price. Right. Mr. Bato, a typical day for you at Ask the Fans is very hectic. Yes, it is. It can be. It can be. Yes. What is it that... Um, you said that you love accounting. Mm -hmm. What is it about your job or was there any episode where something happened that you wasn't expecting? Uh, in this particular line of work, there are quite a few things which we have now and then that will be, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say not expected, but it will kind of be something to that, to that effect. Mm -hmm. um, whatever job would entail to ensure that the company's processes, rules, regulations are followed. Now there will always be certain times when for some reason or the other somebody will do something which is not up to par, not up to standard, not up to this. Now some of those things really they're, they're really innovative. So that can really ask your question that wow in that day and age and as the world is getting more and more up to speed and there are a few persons who are very 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 cunning and mm -hmm. smart okay and, and tend to take advantage of those okay situations. so because of the speed 
that the world is going right now, mm-hmm. you have to be abreast oh, yes. with what's going on. You have to be on the toes and you at can, all times. And you can boast that you got the latest accounting technology, the yeah, ILS fans? Well, at ASA fans, yes, we do. Our system is computerized. Well, the whole, whole business is computerized. It comes down says the direct transaction, it goes through the system mm-hmm. with one click. So we have access to it right and there. Mm-hmm. The average customer, say me, mm-hmm. how does your job affect me? We at the background ensure that your personal details, your transaction goes through as it should and is secure. So technically, though we come and shop downstairs, by it, all the transactions from downstairs goes up to the accounts table, including from Fukule, from Kenfield, from the garage, it all comes down to here. Nice. Then we intend to take this information and yes. process it back. Mm-hmm. Nice. In the next five years, Mr. Bato, what would you love to see for Astefan? Uh, I'd like to see Astefan improve more. Uh, get into more, sell into more diverse products, uh, maybe a few branches there and there, okay. see one in Portsmouth, one here, one here. Nice. Um, continue to improve. Yes. And as a result, maybe make the life for the average man a little bit more affordable, as we say. Helping you save money, of course. That's our business. That's our business. Mr. Bato, it's been a pleasure speaking with you Easy breezy. right here on the A-Team show, Major Keys, Easy Breezy. That's how we do it. Brought to you by Sunshine Cereal. We'll be back right after this. I love it, I love it, I love it. What? Uh, what are you doing? Lewin Budget Lytic Spit looks amazing on my wall and it only costs us 50 bucks a gallon. I love it, I love it, I love it. Really? Leewind Budget Latex Paint, no primer needed. Paints on any service, you love it. Ask for it at hardware stores today. It's both effective and economical. You're not getting any conflicts unless you sing me a song. Because you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Sunshine cereals are more than just great tasting. They include eight essential vitamins and iron for healthy boys and girls. You can taste the quality and goodness in every joyful spoonful. Sunshine cereals wake up to a better breakfast every day. Don't take my sunshine away. Certainly has been a very informative discussion, a very interesting experience with Mr. Stephen Lander. Steve, we certainly want to thank you for being here. Thanks for all the tips and information. My pleasure. But one last bit of uh, advice for the young people just wanting to move ahead in life and do something. Or probably start their own small business. Yeah, yeah uh, I'll leave them with three C's. Communication, communication, communication. Um, as, a, as a banker, I can tell you that uh, a lot of times when we hear the story, it's a, it's a bit too late. So I encourage people all the time to be open uh, with their banker, with their accountant, about the financial condition of the business, about exactly what they intend to do with their financing, and what challenges the businesses are facing. Challenges are a reality of business, and we all understand that. And lastly, um, pick something that you're passionate about if you can. Uh, new businesses particularly are fraught with challenges and your passion is what is going to drive you and inspire you to continue despite the challenges that you face. So if you can do something that you love and truly passionate about, that is the best thing. Well, it's been a pleasure. Thanks again, Stephen, for coming out and um, hanging out here with us and giving us a lot of food for thought. Thanks for having we me. We really appreciate uh, you for being here. And of course, until next time, thanks again for joining us here. On the 18th show, we hope that you tune in next week for another amazing episode right here.